All right, guys, so we got a new attachment here. This is their Atom Stack R1 Pro. And this is going to be their version of the rotary tool. And I already did an unboxing and everything. As you guys can see, I got everything laid out on the table here. And I'm already liking this so far better than my X tool rotary tool. Because as you guys can see here, they got the chuck portion. And then the roller portion is two totally separate attachments, which I really like. On the X-Tool version of the rotary tool, the rollers actually integrated with the chuck. So you had to swap things in and out. It was like all in one device. And I didn't really like that because if I wanted to use one or the other, I had to unscrew stuff and put the rollers into the chuck and vice versa. But when I unbox this, I already seen that these are two totally separate products, which is going to make it way easier to swap out for different projects. So definitely happy to see that. Over on this side, you're going to get your legs. Now these legs, they're a little different than the X-Tool legs. These are plastic legs, and the X-Tool legs were aluminum. So a little bit different there. There's your legs. You do get two different jaws. You get your long jaws here. And then you have your step jaws there. You got some hex jaws, all different jaws there to accommodate different size mugs and tumblers and stuff like that. You're gonna get your level. You're gonna get your ruler to be able to measure the diameter of what your project is. You get some tools, you get some calipers, which is nice. You didn't get that with the X tool. And then here you're gonna get your roller, your chuck, you're going to get your supports for both of those and then you're going to get your wire harness to connect these along with your instruction manual of course but we'll go ahead and we'll start putting this together and we'll see how well it works all right so when you guys that got a laser and are looking at rotary tools it's because you guys want to be able to create cool engravings on say coffee mugs maybe some tumblers like these i did these on some other rotary tools in the past and these are really cool to customize or for gift ideas you can even do glass so really really cool but as you guys can see all different shapes sizes you can, even can do wine glasses and that's why the rotary tool has so many different ways to accommodate different shape projects so since i've been doing all these different tumblers and stuff what i realized there's really not a wrong way or a right way to set up your project the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's level and that's why they give you this level and to make sure that you're dealing with the right size to input into your editing software so what you want to do is you want to grab say i grab this tumbler and you put it on this roller here you're going to use this provided level and this is going to be really important because you're going to want to put this on here and you're going to want to test to see if this is level and obviously this is not level at all so you're going to want to use a combination of attachments to get this to be as level as possible so that you have the best outcome for your project. Now something like this, I could use the rollers and I could use this attachment here on the back. This support attachment does have a lot of adjustability here, it goes up and down and also these rollers fit into all those different slots for the width. So I could actually take this and adjust it so that it kicks up the back end of this until this is level. So that's still not level yet. Go ahead and lift this up a little bit and now that's level. So I could just lock that into place now with the provided Allen wrench that they give you and then that would be good to start a project. Also, if you have something that's narrower or wider, this is adjustable with the thumb screw right on the bottom which makes it nice it's going to allow you to move this roller closer or further out so i go ahead and you can unscrew these thumb screws here really like that they got the thumb screws on here opposed to having to use a tool because this is going to make it a lot easier and quicker and then you would just go ahead and you would just slide these over line them up with the next hole you can see the hole underneath here. So if you wanted to do something really narrow, like maybe a screwdriver or say a, a pen, customize like a pen for somebody's job, that's why you would want to move these in a little bit closer. 
So as you guys can see there, that makes it a little bit closer. And now this belt, because I moved these rollers in closer, this belt is loose as you guys can see. So once you adjust these, and then you're gonna have to come back over here. Here's another thumb screw here. And you're gonna loosen this. You're gonna slide this motor over. until that belt is tight again. So now the belt is tight. Tighten that thumb screw down and now you can see there's no slack really in that belt and it's still gonna move like it's supposed to. So tons of adjustability with the rollers. Now moving over to the rotary chuck, this also has tons of flexibility and attachments for it. As you guys can see, I already attached this support to the back, but this just slides on. It's got like a dovetail there, and this just slides right on this rail here. And depending on how long or how short your project is, you can slide this back and forth. And what this is going to do is this is going to support your project in place. So you got something attached like this you can slide this up tighten it down and it's gonna hold that and center it in place now to complete that you're gonna want to use either these L shape jaws they got the step jaws here and they even have these hex jaws which these seem to work really well if you want to engrave like a ball a round object something like that these work really well these are going to actually go in any one of the holes in the front of this chuck here. And then this jaw is adjustable so it can widen or close up depending on what project you have in here. So like for instance, you go ahead and you can put these hex jaws in here. You can choose any one of these holes. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the third hole. Really quick, easy to do, just screw them right in. And like I said, this is good for round objects. I don't have a round object in my shop right now to demonstrate this with. But you would just put the ball right in here and then you would clamp it down and then you could also Go ahead and put this, slide this in from the back, and then that would support it from the other end. And if you can imagine just a ball right here being held in place, and then you can engrave the top side of it. What I end up using a lot are these L-shaped jaws. And these L-shaped jaws, they end up going right on to the chuck here with these provided Allen screws. And just screw them on. There's two holes in each, as you guys can see there. So you're just going to go ahead and line these up with one of the threaded with the threaded holes here and then you can screw these down. All right, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and I put the jaws on there. These are just the L jaws and I just put them in the second hole. So this is going to be good for something like this smaller glass here. These jaws, like I said, move in and move out. So if I wanted to engrave the top of this here, I could go ahead Put this in the jaws you're going to go ahead and clamp it down so you're going to tighten the jaws up so now we got it nice and tight and we'll check to see is it level and it's a little bit off there and another cool thing about the atom stack rotary chuck is on the side here it has a knob and you can loosen this knob and this is going to allow you to tilt this, which is a really nice addition to this rotary chuck. So go ahead and you can put this back up here and you can adjust it for the leveling, tighten this down, and you're all level. So I really like this pivoting. Um, once again, on the X tool, this whole piece was screwed in and there was no pivoting or anything like that. So I really like how Adam Stack has added this extra adjustment 
to the rotary chuck. And then if you needed some extra support, you could just go ahead and slide this on the back here and then tighten it down. And then this spins. This here spins, so it's gonna allow the glass to spin freely. Just gonna add some extra support there. And then you can go ahead and you can do your graving. So really nice, I like how that's set up by Adam Stack. Now that I'm zoomed up here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this jaw here is covering part of where I engraved. So if I wanted to do this on another glass, it would actually benefit me to use the step jaw here. All right, so I went ahead and swapped out the L jaws for the step jaws so you guys can see that. So like I said earlier, go ahead, I'll put these, the glass on like it was and you'll see that there's not as much overhang when it comes to the jaws there. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but now you can see it's not covering up the engraving like the L-shaped jaws were. Another benefit to these jaws is you can actually use them from the inside out too. So as you guys see, I just put the glass right over that and then you can go ahead and widen these jaws. You just gotta wanna make sure that everything is nice and level on all the jaws there and this is where the dovetail support attachment here is going to come in really handy because it doesn't have in my opinion it doesn't have as secure of a grip than going from the outside so it's going to benefit you even more to use this to keep it in place so tons of different ways to be able to utilize these jaws and attachments to be able to get your project set up just right and level for engraving. All right, so here's a coffee mug and it's got a handle. So this handle is gonna actually cause us a problem also. So if I go ahead and put this on the chuck here, just like I did the glass, it fits fine and everything. But as you guys will see, this handle is gonna hit this base. So a way around that is, go ahead and take this off, and that's where you're gonna utilize this pivoting motion here. So this is gonna pivot all the way around, and then you can tighten this back up. And you can put this on this side, and it's gonna clear the table. So as you guys can see there, now it's clearing and it can rotate freely. And if for whatever reason, say you had a bigger cup, you can just get a little bit creative with it. So say for instance, you got a cup that's a little bit bigger, like this one. I don't know if this one's going to cause me more problems, but we'll go ahead and put this on here and then turn this around and see if this hits. So now you guys can see this is actually gonna hit the table even with this flipped over on the other side. So what you could do is you could take this whole setup here and just lift it up, maybe put a piece of board under it and then put the cup back on, tighten it down and now it should clear. So as you guys can see, it's clear now. You might wanna put a, some type of a weight or something, maybe to hold this down so it doesn't do any tilting. But other than that, you'll be able to engrave on something like this. And then like I said, if it's not level, just go ahead, pivot this a little bit. Use your level, check it. And you're all set and ready to go because that's level now. So like I said, guys, really simple, easy to do. The main thing you want to make sure is to get your project in there nice and tight so it's not going to move around. But also make sure it's a level by using a combination of the attachments, 
either the chuck or the rollers here. It doesn't matter. I don't think there's a really a right way or wrong way. You just want to make sure it's level and it's not going to move around inside the attachment. They also provide you with legs here and then they got the little thumb screws on the side. These are going to be for the Atom Stack Maker Laser Engraver specifically. Um, you can use these rotary tools with other laser engravers which is pretty cool also. They do give you two sets of wires here. They give you one wire that's going to be strictly for your Atom Stack and that's going to be with the white plug and then they do give you another one which is nice this has got the black plug on it and this is going to work with other laser engravers so that's really cool that Adam Stack did that also alright guys so there you go a rundown on the R1 Pro by Adam Stack you got the R1 a rotary chuck and then you got the R2 a roller over here the combination of both of these you'll be able to engrave any type of tumbler, glass, coffee mug anything you can think of. I really like the idea that they made it really flexible, lots of adjustments, and you can also use this with other brand engravers. So if you guys are interested in any more information or to purchase the R1 Pro by Adam Stack, I got links in the description box below. Make sure you use those links. If you guys got any questions, put them in the comment section below. If you guys like this video or found it useful, hit that thumbs up. If you guys like what I'm doing on my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till the next one guys. I'll talk to you later.